I'm delighted to be joined by Ray Bon and MP Berman from NAV Canada. Hello. Well, hello. Very happy to be here. Hi, nice to meet you. How are you finding the show so far? The show has been excellent. We uh, arrived yesterday and we were at the Executive Summit, uh, which was extremely well done. This is a, a great opportunity to, um, to talk to a lot of people that often we don't see for, from one year to the next. So it's uh, a great opportunity to, um, to talk about the future of, uh, of air navigation services, to, um, to collaborate on a number of issues and to celebrate some of the things that we've accomplished over the last year. So very happy to be here. Fantastic. Um, in terms of the celebration then, so is there any particular topics that you'd like to tell us more about perhaps? Well, in, in our case, um, we're continuing to uh, explore an opportunity uh, with Indra through um, iTech and uh, looking at uh, finalizing our, our one year of evaluation now um, to look at uh, introducing a new flight data processor that will in fact be instrumental um, to directory based operations. That's uh, really part of our strategic plan. And um, so a little bit of celebration there and uh, a few other things that we've accomplished over the year. And MP, um, is there anything that you could tell us perhaps about the work uh, with Arian and uh, the use of ADSB? Absolutely. Uh, not only just Arian, but also Nats. We do a lot of collaboration, great sharing of best practices, learning a lot from each other as well. And so with ADSB, when we talk about the oceanic traffic and the restrictions or the, the larger limits that we used to have to use for separation standards over the ocean, it has greatly reduced. So we're talking about, you know, being able to handle more planes and our controllers having better functionalities at their fingers. And the inter-alliance with Nats is really uh, important to us to be able to continue to do that in the future as well. One of the key challenges facing the industry is obviously that of sustainability. So, so how does that improvement in spacing over the ocean play out in terms of sustainability? It allows the controllers to be able to do more. You know, if we're able to see planes better, if we have more connectivity with them, uh, it allows the air traffic controllers to be able to handle potentially more traffic than what they would have in the past, needing larger separation standards. So it really does make a difference when we're thinking down the line and the traffic is increasing, especially now we're seeing the recovery of traffic post uh, pandemic. And uh, as we're seeing the traffic increasing again to 2019 levels and, you know, expectations of going beyond those, it's important for us to be able to maximize the use of our airspace is, you know, there's a big sky out there, but that wasn't always the case. So it's, it's exciting to see where we're going. There's certainly lots of optimism of the show. Um, what does the future look like for, from a NAV Canada perspective? There's lots of opportunities and actually, you know, to raise point in terms of what we've been able to maximize with our time here is not only uh, the connections that we've already made, but also learning more. Right, seeing what our other places are doing, other technologies that are out there, what would be available to us for the future. And uh, with our strategic direction, we are looking very grand, very down the line, a lot of things for the next you know, 10, 15, 20 years. What's that future going to look like for an ANSP like ours with a very large country covering a lot of ground and uh, how we can do things differently, perhaps. Looking at you know airspace modernization, where we've been historically bound by the lines on the map the geographical settings of our country and uh, having an opportunity to blank slate and take a look at it completely differently uh, without being bound by those political geo boundaries that we've always had in the past. So some great exciting things uh, are coming for the future for us. And do those exciting things include advanced air mobility? We certainly hear a lot about that in the UK and in Europe. How's that playing out in Canada? We do have a whole team that's working on that as well and looking at, uh, we do need to consider all new entrants, right? And new entrants is certainly what, what you're discussing and with the drones or anything else, but also different types of airplanes. And we heard that yesterday in the conference as well. It's not going to be just same types or same speeds or same size airplanes anymore. We're going to be seeing complete varieties in the airspace. And so that needs to be a part of the planning for the future as we're looking to, to, to technology and looking to different ways of procedures and you know, proceduralizing things and our airspaces the way that they are today are not really conducive to being able to, uh, to have that more productive uh, environment in the future. So an exciting time for ATM. Very. Ray, you mentioned uh, the summit yesterday. What were some of your key takeaways? Um, so certainly 
that we're all facing similar issues. I mean, we're recovering, you know, from the pandemic. Uh, we are looking to the future, which is extremely exciting. But um, to move beyond, you know, the pandemic and uh, and and look at these opportunities and see that everyone is is aligned in their thinking. You know, one of the things that I've noticed that's come out of um, you know the difficult time that we've had through the pandemic is the level of collaboration um, across you know industry, whether that be ANSPs, you know, with the airports, with the airlines, with other providers. Um, to really look at solutions that are going to really enable us, you know, um, for the future. And so some pretty exciting uh, opportunities there. And, and those were discussed at length um, yesterday. MP, I'm conscious today it's uh, International Women's Day. Um, are there any kind of key messages around that? And, uh, you know, working in aviation, obviously you are very senior um, at uh, Nav Canada. Any messages that you might have? For yeah, women absolutely. Aspiring? I would say don't limit yourself. You know, there are so many opportunities out there. And when you think of aviation as one, of course, but there's so many different things that you can do within aviation. It's not just uh, being a pilot or what people would think of an air traffic controller being that person in the tower. Really, you know, to Ray's point, when we've been dealing a lot more collaboratively with airports and airlines, it, it, it shows you the, the breadth of different kinds of jobs that are out there and uh, there's something for everyone and I, I grew up aviation is kind of it's in my blood it was my parents my grandparents everyone was in this field and I've always grown up knowing that you know regardless of me being a woman or not I could you know forge my way and make a path through this industry and with different backgrounds I was a pilot and then I was an air traffic controller and have worked through different positions like that so it's it's exciting for me and um, I hope that people think of this as a career. It's not something that generally uh, pops into students' minds when they're at school, for example. And so definitely that is something over the years where I've tried to go to different career fairs or girl colleges and different schools to uh, share this, or share the passion for aviation, share the opportunities that are out there. And hopefully we will see more women. We don't have that many. Uh, and I think that seems to be around the world. It is a, a you know, pretty ge generic uh, comment. And uh, so hopefully we will see more women that get interested in aviation and, and learn a little bit more about it. And it's a great, great opportunity. Thank you. Can I just add that um, they, they have excellent role models as well in, in MP. And uh, in fact, at NAV Canada, more than 50% of our executive team is female. And so um, they have inspirational leaders uh, and career paths to look forward to. Thank you both very much for your time. Well, thank you. We enjoyed the opportunity. Thanks for having us. You're welcome.